Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick little apprentice showcase showing off my apprentices. Um, I'm so very, very proud of them. I'm going to show you a full year of the work they've done for class. Um, so what is apprenticeship? First of all, it's a separate version of Critique Hour, but only for apprentices who subscribe um, through Patreon as apprentices, the $20 a month tier. Um, and there are lower tiers that don't get assignments, but I just wanted to do a, a specific feature just for my apprentices um, and just show off the work they did this year. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the curriculum we followed, uh, what we were doing, and what it's like if you do join as an apprentice, what it's going to be like. So first thing is that apprentices of all uh, skill types can join. Um, the, the way I do the class is that I really do take time to tailor the sessions um, and the assignments that, uh, that, that, so that they are multi-level, that uh, artists of multiple levels can access the, uh, the, the knowledge attainable through those uh, assignment styles. So form studies, for instance, uh, we do those every couple months just so that I can keep everything in check. I give them to artists because I know that there is a wide variety of, 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 um, of students that have different skill sets. So we have earlier um, uh, students who don't really have never really painted an illustration and it's why they're joining so that they can get that little push. We have students who have painted many illustrations but need that push into pushing the, the, the polish, the rendering, the delivery of the detail, um, the edge control. They just want to push all that a little bit further. Um, and then we have students who are just in between all of that. Um, not really beginner, not, not, ha not, not having done so many illustrations, but, but, uh, but they've done enough that they understand the pressure of it, um, but also uh, still have issues completing a full illustrations, need that little bit of accountability uh, to be pushed into, uh, with deadlines to be pushed into creating a portfolio. Everyone in this uh, apprenticeship eventually ends up with 12 portfolio pieces at the end of each year, which is an abundance. Um, it's, it's really, and each piece is different from the other and the variety of each assignment month to month is also amazing because it uh, uh, keeps your portfolio uh, representing a wide variety of skill sets between textures and subject matter and illustration styles. So we do character design, we do uh, portrait design, we do book cover design, we do um, uh, environment designs. I, I try to keep the portfolio as high variety as possible. Diversity is really important in my classes because doing the same old study over and over again for apprentices. Apprentice is a different type of student because it's someone that is um, basically picking up on all the lessons I have learned and applying it to their personal journey. It's, it's something like you're still doing what you would have done alone, but you have a ton of knowledge and a ton of guidance this time around where you don't feel like you're stabbing in the dark. Um, so uh, all of that working together, all of that coming together makes you so that you're less afraid of textures, you're less afraid of completing illustrations. It's much easier for you to, to grasp the idea of managing a light source and multiple objects in a light source. And nearly all of the fundamentals that I teach through form studies um, are used again in the illustrations as, as the classes develop. So this form study, for instance, is multiple light sources, um, a multiple uh, objects in a light source, but the other artists using the same assignment style added multiple light sources. So different openings in the, in the cube. And this is a very classic kind of uh, a form study format that I go uh, that I go to when assigning apprentices or trying to diagnose their current skill set at the start of every year. I give them this assignment. I tell them where their issues are, so I can get to know the new batch of apprentices at the start of the year, and I understand what some of the issues are. If everybody's having issues with um, illustration, uh, with multiple objects in an illustration and multiple light sources, I kind of just make the assignment styles a little bit easier and go to pace with everyone. So I find like an average pace that I gauge at the start of every year with the, the initial form study diagnosis. So this year's diagnosis, next year's I mean, is gonna be a bit different than this one. Um, and uh, But it's still gonna work the same way. I get to know the students through these types of assignments. Um, 
so some of the stuff that I want to show, first of all, is uh, uh, the variety of, of uh, knowledge and skill that I have in between all the apprentices. Some are a little bit uh, earlier in their journey, and some are really developed in their journey. And you can see how uh, this artist has a lot of control over their edges and understands their edges, but when it comes to organic stuff, they kind of fall off a bit, and that's the kind of stuff that I look for and diagnose. We did um, uh, a couple of these form studies throughout the year. Every couple months we do. Every couple months we do something like this. Um, uh, but this is just that initial start of 2021. Um, and I'm really proud of the ability some of these students have. Like they they jumped in and some of them, though they're very skilled, have never really tried complex form studies like this. Uh, but they went for it. They they really wanted to improve, and I'm very proud of the amount of improvement some of them have shown. And then we jumped into some an extension of that form study but we added an extra element so you can see it's still a form study but now it has an illustration element to it now it's this hanger there's a small little story attached to it and that's how i kind of sneakily um uh, trick them into understanding that they can do if they can do this they can do illustrations um, and that's typically what i was going for so for some of these, I actually asked them to hand in one personal piece of theirs to critique. So after the initial diagnosis at the start of the year, I asked them to hand in a personal piece that's 100% their choice, free reign, and I critique it for them. And it always it really just helps me understand how they want to use their art, what their goals are, where they're going with their art, what they're here to learn especially, and how I can cater to that with the monthly assignments that I hand out. The next assignment that I did in the year was a three-part story uh, assignment that used three different thumbnails of illustrations to tell a basic story. Um, and I believe that they did amazing. Uh, this one in particular, love, love, love the light and the mountain and the, sh the strange shape in the background uh, that could be seen both as, both as a shape as well as the smoke and the storytelling showing that this isn't just a scenic uh, opportunity, that there is a story tied to that part of the mountain and that great flame and the fire that he's looking for. Beautiful piece and I feel like I'm going to assign this again soon. And here are a couple more examples um, of that storytelling. So we have three uh, different environments and three different store, uh, one main basic story that link all of them together. And it's just helping them understand how to tell a story, how to establish a scene. Maybe it's something that they've never done before. Storytelling to this level um, is really just amazing uh, practice for getting into the uh, uh, perfecting your illustrations and starting to think like a movie maker um, and how to frame scenes, how to tell a story with as little frames as possible. Um, just by adjusting the horizon line or adjusting the size of the character, you could tell so much about scale and direction and story and, uh, and, and epicness basically and how to infuse the story with as much energy as possible. And that's something some of you will never practice and that's why important it's important to join as an apprentice because of that because some of the assignments you get are things you would never do unless you were assigned them um, and it is very very uh, open to all skill levels because you don't have to be a professional artist to think like a movie maker or to learn the basic principles of storytelling in cinema. The next batch of assignments that we did actually had a lot to do with uh, uh, character design. So instead of environments and full illustrations and form studies, we jumped into character design and just basically thinking about how much we can represent about the environment around the character with just the character, just by talking about what the character is wearing, what the character looks like, their gesture, their stance, um, and how that, by just looking at the character, how much of the environment we can pull. Um, and how much we can read off the character's design. And most of these are actually really successful uh, because we can really see right away what is happening in the story just by looking at them. And I think these two really got the, 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 the understood the assignment. <laughs> And you can actually see what each character is about. You can have a feel for the environment and the storytelling behind them. So lots of world building, lots and lots of world building. The next batch, we jumped right back into uh, environments and we were just looking at how to uh, represent the environment and instill a single character in them, telling as much story as possible. Keeping it interesting. I love this one because I am just wondering what is happening. I feel so pulled in by the white of that character and what they're wearing and this amazing design on the griffins. 
This was actually the um, uh, the assignment you guys had, but theirs is a little bit adjusted um, just to make it a little bit more. Obviously, I have to calibrate each assignment given to the apprentices to match everyone's skill. So I find a good average, and I think they did wonderfully, wonderfully for these pieces. I love this one. I wanted to show it off so much. I believe I did share it um, in one of the critique hours, especially the one where we actually did this community assignment. Um, but it's it's just a phenomenal piece. I love both of them very much. We do a lot of uh, book cover designs in my apprenticeship, mostly because um, I feel like a lot of you uh, will find employment after apprenticeship, and most of the employment available out there comes, a lot of it, a high volume of it is book cover design. So I want to keep you guys thinking about that, to stay uh, uh, you know, have your skill set applicable to how it's used in modern day, but also, again, more storytelling, how to learn, how, uh, to tell a story with as little as possible. Basically, you don't have an environment, you don't have a horizon line, you just have the portrait of the character, and um, you just have the title, and you have to do as much work balancing symbolic t storytelling as well as the portraiture and using all your portraiture skills uh, to push that as far as possible. And I think this one is one of the best pieces handed in. It's so beautiful, the lettering, the colors, the contrast, absolutely amazing. This was another piece. I love that wispy feeling of the crows um, and the title, the, the font that they used. And um, I, I love the shadow of the, of the hood on the character's face. I feel like it really draws us in. And you can actually see all of the critiques I've ever done. If you want to see how I critiqued each of these pieces, if you join as an apprentice, um, you'll be added to the Discord, and you'll be able to look at the assignment history and track all the way back to when uh, apprenticeship was first opened um, and look at all these pieces. Each critique hour is monthly, and it's about an hour long, and each of these pieces has been critiqued and improved by myself. So sometimes I do theme related homework. Um, most of the time it's usually around the holiday season or harvest season. Uh, this is one of those where I asked for the students to create a theme. Um, and they basically, uh, this one was a theme of decay. This was the frost and the wind and the bringing of the fall. Um, and this was very similar to that one as well. And so you get to merge character design with a little bit of environment to design, a lots of texture work, um, and definitely a lot of uh, gesture work. And each of these can be used as a book cover as well. So, so much exponential uh, uh, reach in uh, how you can apply these portfolio pieces in your, in your, in your job pursuits, in your uh, building of your portfolio, each of these pieces and assignments, it, it's easy to customize for each student, for each apprentice. And you can see which uh, illustrate which which of these artists are more illustration based and would like to create full scenes with space behind them, and which are more uh, uh, kind of stickers that can be used as stickers. This was a book cover design that we did. Um, again, related back to the ghoulish Halloween theme, I asked everyone to think about the the cons of merging portrait with the idea of decay, the idea of horror. Um, so we're still pulling from the portrait knowledge, but this time we're pushing our portrait skills. If you've never drawn an old person, you've drawn them. Now, if you've never drawn a ghoulish character, you've drawn them now. The point is that the apprenticeship encourages you to try new things as much as it empowers uh, what you're already good at. Uh, this one was narrative based. I gave them a very a short story that I wrote and they were supposed to capture expression with portraiture. So um, expression is also something I try to explore since a lot of you have that basic template face. There's not a lot going on. Um, so expression is something I do try to push for my students. <clears throat> this one was actually more of a symbolic, um, uh, less high rendered, more about the combination of font and um, character and uh, obviously a little bit of portraiture for these um, for these uh, book covers, really heavy story um, and trying to recreate an existing uh, uh, book cover that you love out of a book that's your, you know, that you've read before, an existing book and borrowing from it to create your own. This one is just such high storytelling. You know exactly what's going on. And I love, I love when we can pick up the story right away. It makes you just grab the book off the shelf and read it. And that's what I want. My, I want my apprentices to learn. And that's, that's the goal I want them to, to aim for. For this one, this was one of the later assignments in the year. Um, and it was picking something old that you drew and learning uh, and, and applying all of the stuff that you've learned into a recreation of an old piece. This was really, really fun to critique because the improvement that we see from these students is amazing. Like look at the atmosphere they managed to capture in the after and then in the before that everything felt kind of flat. So they're definitely thinking about core shadows and cast shadows. And this is another example of that really amazing piece. They're actually building illustrations. 
And then we did some texture studies just to round things off, make sure everybody's always thinking about uh, light on form on different levels of transparency and translucency and hardness and reflectivity and all that on different textures. And then we did a check-in kind of, let's see where everyone is, diagnosis portrait assignment. Everyone was just revealing their current skill set with portraits. And then we did another uh, quick little assignment for uh, the Halloween season. Uh, the concept was just these two words. I gave the students two-faced um, and uh, what were they going to pull from that at the storyline. I think, I think you guys have seen this one. Um, and basically it was just about using those two words in the prompt to create an illustration. And this is the final assignment of the year, uh, which is that uh, glowing object using all the texture, environment, uh, uh, world building knowledge they've developed the entire year on one last final theme illustration. Um, and uh, the theme was a glowing elemental character, uh, their own personal kind of Patronus charm um, to represent themselves and uh, to finally round off the year. So thank you for watching the showcase. I love what I'm doing here. I love having these small little uh, explosions of creativity every month. It's a very low pressure. It may feel like we're, do, we're moving mountains with this uh, apprenticeship, but it is, and we are, uh, but it is very low pressure. You guys are left alone to mind, uh, my, you know, I mind my own business until it's time to critique um, the pieces and, uh, the, and I interact with you at the start of the month to give you assignments to critique the pieces that were handed in last month. Uh, I distribute rewards all at the same time. Um, and I just try to, to keep it low pressure, but also with that little touch, that little sprinkle of accountability um, and making sure that you guys have uh, what you have subscribed for, what you've signed up for, and you feel like you're improving, you feel like you've de you're definitely moving in a direction if you feel like you are not moving in a direction right now in your art. Um, and uh, you feel like it's no longer just moving in the dark, trying to develop your portfolio. You have that little bit of guidance uh, that you need in order to get where you would like to get. And you, you, you introduce yourself at the start of every apprenticeship. So I do want to know where everyone's aiming. It helps me uh, uh, customize these assignments for you guys and make sure that everyone feels included in where the entire apprenticeship is moving. Everyone feels like they're on board. So join me on Patreon if you'd like to be a part of this apprenticeship. The link is in the description. And thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in Critique Hour. Bye.